Firstly, you copy and paste in the table from Soccerway. You'll have all the data you need there to compile. Um, odds you need to find the goal expectancy for the home side and the away side. We'll be using Manchester City here as an example, and we'll also be using um, Bournemouth as an example. So. Here you have to find the averages of their home attacking strength and the away attacking strength and the defensive strength as well. So firstly you get the average of goals scored at away and at home. They sort of parallel each other because they would have to. Um, you can see here the average amount of games at home has been 10 and the average away from home has also been 10. Let's see there. Okay, so equals this divided by 10. Okay, so to get the home goal expectancy you have to multiply the home attacking strength by the away defensive strength by the average home goals scored. So first to get the home attacking strength you get the home goals scored on average by a side uh, divided by the league average. Here you can see that Man City they've scored here at home 29 uh, goals. You divide that by 10 because that's the amount of games they played at home, as you can see here. So you'd be dividing that by that. You're getting 2.9. Now, to get the home attacking strength, you're comparing it to the rest of the league. <sighs> so what we do here is we divide the average goal scored here at home is 1.14. So you're dividing by that. So they have a 2.04947 home attacking strength. Um, you do then multiply this by the away defensive strength, which is just gauging how weak a defense or a stronger defense is away from home. So this will be Bournemouth. So Bournemouth is equal to, where are they, 16, 21. They've conceded 21 in 11 games. So they're considering about 1.9 on average, so then we divide that by the average goals conceded. So, all in all, there's going to be quite a go high goal expectancy here. And then we have to multiply by the home average goals, which is 2.04. One point one six. So for Bournemouth, you have to do their away attacking strength, which is equal to the away goals they've scored, which is eight goals. No, that's twelve goals in eleven appearances, and then you, you divide that by the average. Sorry, uh, sometimes these functions can mess up on each other. Okay, so then, to see the, away, the Man City's home defensive strength, you have to get here. At home, City have conceded 12 goals. So, divide that by the amount of games they played at home, and then divide by the average goals conceded. So, on average, City are leak here. So, then to get this, you multiply all these together. So, close. So, City's goal expectancy is 3.91. you're multiplying this by this by this by this
at home city have been dominant. You can see they've won eight games, lost two, scored 29 goals against the side, which are leaky at an average away from home. Okay, so now to compile odds, you have to cho use this goal expectancy here and put it into Poisson. So a Poisson function is just a mathematical function which will give a probability of something happening. So you need first off input. Well, firstly we are just going to create a little table here. One, two, three, four, five. Obviously, you can have more depending on how many goals you predict. Like, let's say in the La Liga against Bar um, Real Madrid scored 10 goals against Real Vallecano. So, there's some divisions where it can go well above 5 goals. So, what we have to do here is we have to do a multiplication of the Poisson of Man City scoring 0 goals and Bournemouth scoring 0 goals so we have to do first off Poisson 0 because that's the figure we're trying to find the mean is this here and then you set it to false so now that's if you press enter you see that there is a oh we have to also multiply by 100 so there's a 1.99, basically a 2% chance of City scoring 0 goals in this game. So, if you wanted to get it to be 0-0, zero, 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 you'd also have to do what's on this here. So you have to do a multiplication of 2. But... E3 and E2, so E3 is for Bournemouth and E2 is for Man City, so you can see here it's not very likely. To make this quicker for yourself, you can do this. Well, these are never going to change, so if you press F4, you can keep them like that. them across. Okay. So you see here there's one. And this is just a bit of manual work. Very fun. You see here you're changing it for the amount of goals that is expected to be scored by that team. So okay, if you copy that across copy these all across you can just manually change the ones which are needed to be changed see here these will have to be changed to one will have to be changed to 2 because you're asking it to see if Bournemouth will score 2 goals. It's just a bit time consuming. These are all percentages here of the likelihood of it happening. 
as you can see, when it gets to uh, four or five goals by Bournemouth, it's becoming more and more less likely. Okay, since City had a quite a high goal expectancy, there should be a little bit of give here. So let's say probably if there was six, so if you add all these together you're probably gonna get about ninety three. Oh much lower. Seventy nine, so if you put in six. So it's up to eighty nine if we went up to seven. It's all about testing with this. See here now the sum of it is 95%. Obviously if you kept on going it will add up more and more. So now if you want to know how to get the home win, draw and away win. Home, very simply, this is just getting the probability of these. So equals 1-0 or more. What essentially here is you're taking results which will see it happen. So 1-0-2-0-3-0-4-0-2-1-3-2-4-3-5-4 and 6-5 so on. So what you have to put in front is sum. Okay and then uh, for draw equals sum. Nil now, one nil, two two, three two, four four, five five. Some of that equals away some. Well, it's not perfect. You can see here it's ninety five percent. Um, really, um, if you had gone further down to eight, nine put this over the 6, you'd get 100% or close to it, so these three here if you do 100 equals divided by there's your odds if you wanted to find home minus 1.5 just finding all the results here some where they win by two goals or more. And then again, 100 divided by that. 1.5. So these are the odds that it will give you. Again, the uh, if you want to find the inverse, if you want to find a way plus 1.5. It's just essentially equals 100 minus, and then equals there's your odds for that. And let's say you wanted to see them win by win to nil equals some. These are the odds in decimal form.
Okay, so that's 50, so let's copy the formula here because it still works the same way. It's 100 divided by that. Okay, so that's basic Poisson and how to compile odds. Obviously, this is just one season's data. I'd recommend you to use three or more to get more accurate odds because 20 games isn't really enough to properly weight data. Um, you can also if you have odds like this you can add things into it such as if you think it's, it's a team is going to be playing poorly let's say they have players out or uh, there's the, the bad head to head form or you can see that odds have been live for a while now and all the money on the exchange or in Asian markets is affecting it like as in let's say Man United opened at 1.4 but they've gone into 1.3 a lot of the times this is shrewd money which has been backed early so this should impact your opinion on not form head to head moves in the market bet fair money things like this are all things you should consider when you're pricing your ma uh, your matches statistical analysis isn't only enough so let's do that we'll do that in the next lecture so hopefully you'll be back